Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm Anoush from AndroidRoots.com and today I'm going to show you how to restore your Nexus 6 back to 1% stock factory settings. So this is going to unroot your phone, unbrick it, remove any custom ROM, any custom recovery, or any sign of any modification you ever did with the Nexus 6. And really, uh, you know, after you finish this whole entire process, it'll be safe enough to send back to the carrier, Google, the manufacturer, without them ever knowing you modified it or even had any apps installed or anything like that on your Nexus 6. Now before we actually go ahead and begin this video, make sure that you go and back up any important information that you do not want to lose. That includes app data, apps, um, you can only back up those necessarily when you're only rooted, but music, movies, documents, any passwords that you really want to keep um, that you really can't just remember, back it all up on your computer, to the cloud, anywhere but the actual Nexus 6 device as everything 1% of the software is going to be removed and then reinstalling it with a new fresh Android software um, just like the day you first bought it. So to get started, go ahead and hold on the power button and go ahead and power off the Nexus 6 and give it a few seconds. Okay, so once it is powered off, we're gonna go ahead and enter into bootloader mode. So go ahead and press the power button and volume down button at the exact same time. Press and hold it, power and volume down, and you'll get to this start screen so it'll look very similar to this with a uh, android with chest open and a green start screen um, that is all good and ready to go now go ahead and plug in your nexus 6 via micro usb to your windows computer um, if you have a mac and you want to know how to unroot your nexus 6 on a mac computer go ahead and click on that annotation right there as it is very similar but there are a few different steps to do um, so since we have it plugged in and we're good to go on that let's go ahead and head down to our windows computer and finish up this process Okay, so now on your Windows computer, you're gonna go ahead and download this one folder or file called unrootnexus6.zip. Um, I'll have a link down below in the video description where you can go ahead and download this along with a written step-by-step -step guide and all the commands that we're gonna be using further down in the video. So it's all linked down below in that one link in the video description with an article I personally wrote. Um, so here's the file, or the, yeah, the file right here. So um, make sure it's on your desktop. So once you do download it, go and transfer it to your desktop. As you can see, it's on my desktop, um, as you can see. Um, uh, it makes it so much more easier once you're doing command prompt and you will run into a lot less issues. So go ahead and right click on the unroot nexus 6.zip folder, click on extract all, and then go ahead and click extract. And this is gonna extract the file uh, into a folder, so give it a quick minute. Okay, and here is the folder. Um, I, I'm dragging it over since I have two monitors. Do note that we have a folder called USB drivers. So just remember that as we're gonna, I'm just gonna be mentioning it in just two seconds. So right now, go ahead and open up Device Manager. So Device Manager right here. Go and just search in the uh, Start Search Bar. And here is Device Manager right here. And if you go ahead and look, you'll see a section called Android USB Devices. Go ahead and click on the little tab right there to expand it. And under that, you should see Android Single ADB Interface. If you don't see that, or if you see like a yellow triangle next to it, like that one, um, if you see it next to that, go ahead and right click on it, click on Update Driver Software, click on Browse My Computer for Driver Software, Browse, go to the desktop where you saved that Unroot Nexus 6 folder right there, and go ahead and click on USB Driver, and then click OK. Uh, then go ahead and click next, 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 and it will automatically install or manually install the drivers for the Nexus 6 ADB interface. Um, majority of people shouldn't have to do this part as it should already look just like this. It should look fine. Uh, but some people will have to do it as sometimes Windows doesn't automatically install the drivers that are needed. Uh, for me, it did automatically. Um, so I just want to mention that if you run into any issues, do that. Um, so now go ahead and go and search on the start bar and open up command prompt. It's already installed, so don't worry about installing anything. Um, so here's command, <clears throat> here's command prompt right here. Um, and what we're going to be doing is go ahead and type CD desktop. So we're going to go and type in CD space capital D desktop, just like this, space CD unroot uh, Nexus 6, like that. And for the rest of this video, um, if you're confused, there's going to be a lot more commands that we're going to be inputting into command prompt. If you ever get confused, if you can't read the screen, whatever, click on that one link I mentioned down below, and you can go ahead and copy and paste all the commands step by step very easily. Um, you can just go and do that instead of typing it in manually like I am. 
Um, so we're going to go ahead and get this thing started up now. Um, so first thing we're doing is go ahead and type in fastboot space flash space bootloader space boot uh, loader again. And then you can go ahead and press tab and it will automatically fill in the rest of the file name for you and go and press enter. And it's automatically going to do it for you. And at the bottom, it'll say finished. Um, and that's when you know you can go and go into the next part. So next we're going to go ahead and do is fastboot space reboot space or reboot dash bootloader enter we're good on that fastboot space flash space radio space radio dash tab it'll automatically fill it in press enter and we're good to go on that we can go and do in fastboot space reboot dash bootloader enter we're good now we're gonna type in fastboot flash space system space system space system and then tab it'll all make you fill it in enter and this one will take a little bit longer since it is a bigger file so give it a few minutes it will take about uh, about two to three minutes so I'll be back in a bit okay so that is complete so now we're gonna go ahead and type in fastboot space flash space user user data space user data space user data tab enter and once again give it a few seconds it's sending it okay next up we're going to type in fastboot space flash space boot space boot tab enter now we're going to type in fastboot space flash space recovery space recovery tab enter now we're going to type in fastboot space erase space cache enter now we're going to type in fastboot space flash space cache space cache tab enter and lastly we're going to type in fastboot space oem space lock and this is going to lock our bootloader and we're going to press enter and I don't think I typed in that in right. So yeah, I didn't type in it right. We'll do it again. Uh, fastboot space OEM space lock enter. And this is going to lock our bootloader and uh, we are good to go now. All right, so we're almost done. You can go ahead and unplug the Nexus 6 as we're done using it with our computer. And one thing you can already notice is it says device is locked. That's it showed device is locked once we did lock our bootloader on the last command prompt step. And now go ahead and press the volume down twice. You'll see recovery mode and go ahead and press the power button. And this is going to enter us into stock recovery where we're going to do a factory reset, clear the cache, and then reboot our device. And yes, this always happens. You're going to see a dead Android. <laughs> At least that's what I call it. A dead Android with its chest open with a red exclamation point. Uh, to go ahead and fix this and get into actually stock recovery, we're going to be pressing the power button, volume up, and volume down all the exact same time pressing it about three times in a row, three to five times in a row. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. You will need both hands for this. So I'm gonna go and press all three. Um, all, and I'm gonna press them about three times. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so it worked on the fourth time this time. Um, so just press all three about three or four times. I'm probably gonna make a separate video for that as I got a lot of questions for that. Um, but now if it focuses, yes, it did focus. So this is better. We're going to go ahead and go all the way down to wipe data slash factory reset. Use the volume up and down uh, to navigate. So wipe data slash factory reset right there. And go ahead and select the power button now. And once again, go and scroll down all the way where it says yes, delete all user data, and then select the power button again. And this is going to go ahead and do a factory reset. This will take about five minutes. Do not power off your device or anything like that. You're going to mess it up. It will take about five minutes. And you can see a little status right here. It says formatting data at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so now go ahead and uh, scroll all the way down to wipe cache partition using the volume up and down again. So wipe cache partition and select the power button again. And this is gonna wipe the cache. It'll be another two or three minutes, so be patient. All right, so once that's done, it should automatically already be selected at reboot system now. Go ahead and select the power button. And this is gonna reboot our Nexus 6 with a fresh new Android completely unrooted on 1% stock and you're going to be good to go. Um, there's not going to be any custom ROMs, there's not going to be any custom recoveries, there's not going to be any sign of roots. 
you're going to be a one percent stock with all information removed um so you should really enjoy that <laughs> um so this boot up will take a little bit longer than usual since we just installed a fresh new android so i'll be back in a little bit and there we go we have the setup screen I did not get stuck in a boot loop or anything like that, and we are 100% stock. So let me go ahead and skip through all this. I'll show you that we are actually on Android Lollipop, all that good stuff, and um, we'll continue. And here it is. Here's the setup screen or the actual home screen now. As you can see, all the app drawers, all your apps are removed. Um, it's 100% fresh and stock, just like the day you first bought it from the carrier, Google, uh, Motorola, whoever. Um, it's just like that. I'll go to Bud Phone. As you can see, model number. Um, right there, Nexus 6, Android version. If you go ahead and tap on Android version, we'll get that Lollipop right there. Um, right there. There we go, here's Lollipop. As you can see, it changes colors, hold it down, and you can play that Android game right there. If you guys did enjoy this unrooting video for the Nexus 6 on Windows, be sure to like and subscribe right there in the bottom of the hand corner as I'll have a lot more Nexus 6 videos coming out, so stay tuned for that. And don't forget to share this video on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus down below in the share, share section down below. And as always, like I mentioned earlier, all the files that you need, the written step-by-step -step guide is located down below in the video description. Until next time, peace.